Hey guys, Kristen here from Feeding Faith Missions, coming to you live from the closet. Why am I in the closet? Because we're gonna talk about clothing, specifically children's clothing for children in the village. So something that I've heard on and off over the past few years is that somebody will see a picture that's posted somewhere, or maybe it's just been shared out, and they'll see a child wearing a name brand shirt, and I quote, I have heard, well, that kid's wearing a hill figure, so they must not be that poor. And I want to just clarify where those clothes come from and uh, just, you know, just to give you a little bit of enlightenment on the clothing situation down here. So first and foremost, in many cases in the village, that is the only shirt that that child owns. So regardless of what the brand name is, he might be wearing that shirt every day until it is threadbare. And they will wear anything they can until it is completely threadbare. I've walked up a mountain beside a child that had no backside in his pants and I could see his backside because he literally just had a hole and the pants were so ill-fitting that they had a rope to try to hold them up because he couldn't button them anymore. So the clothes usually are the only set that they have. It's not uncommon to go to a village and see children running around with no shirts on and naked, not because they're just kids that wanna run around naked, they just don't have any clothes or they don't have clothes that are clean because moms washed them in the river and they're hanging out on the line to dry. So that's that's kind of the first part of that. Second of all, what we have down here is called a paka. And paka kind of has two definitions. Um, number one, it's a store. That's where they sell the pakas. And the paka itself is a bale of clothes. These clothes are what comes to countries like Guatemala and developing countries when they're at the end of their life, whether they're used or new. So they could be coming from a clearing house like Ross or TJ Maxx. These are just examples. I'm not you know, endorsing anybody or maybe thrift stores. So you have a combination of both used and new clothes. So for example, you go to the store, the mall, your outside shopping center, your boutique, whatever. The shop that it starts the clothing item starts its life there then it makes it to the sale rack then it makes it to a clearing house or an outlet and then it makes it way its way onto a bale and into a developing country so that's how it makes it down to here and that is how you know little boy in the village is wearing a name brand shirt that somebody might assume is very expensive and it could be that whoever bought that paca or donated, I mean, that shirt could have been 50 cents by the time it's made its uh, way to a cash register down here. So with all that said, um, you know, if you guys feel like this is laid on your heart, um, we definitely have villages that need clothing and we are happy to receive clothes. So there's two ways you can donate. You can do a fundraiser and just fundraise funds to get to us and then we can go buy pacas and sort them out and distribute the clothes or you can do a clothing donation drive and have clothes boxed up and we can discuss that uh, in a private message if you want to send that to myself or to Julian and we would be glad to receive any clothes that you can get donated. Uh, the other item that is desperately needed always is shoes. I personally think flip-flops, Crocs, something rubber, something that's washable is really the ideal situation because everything is so muddy here. And obviously, you know, sneakers are great because these kids are running up and down mountains and such, but they do the same barefoot, they do the same in flip-flops. Um, again, it's so muddy that, you know, any shoes that get worn get completely trashed very quickly. So um, anybody who works retail knows that it is, officially the end of summer. It's actually almost past the end of summer, even though it's July. And so all your flip-flops and summer shoes should be on clearance and buy two, get three free of your little rubber plastic flip-flops. So that's another good, uh, that's another good fun uh, clothing drive to pull together. So if you have any questions, shoot us an email at info at feedingfaith.org. And I hope you learned something today and we were able to enlighten you on clothing in the village. And we will check you guys on the flip-flop. Bye.